please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Clicks Out. Now steal the microphone, Matt. Here's a preview. This is only the second track today I've done. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, well, you, yeah, you've got time to figure it out. Second track. Well, this track's very easy to learn, but it's very difficult to go fast. Same as Laguna. Laguna's easy to ride, but you want to go quick, it takes a lot of work. Sure, All right, sure. so feed up for me. Okay. The front is extremely bouncy. So you have extreme, extraordinarily strong forearms because you're trying to hold on to that as you go through the corner. And when the corner ends, you can relax. So let's fix that. I think that contributes to fatigue as well. Absolutely, 100%. Because if you have to do this, because it's the only hand that allows you to grip, that torsions everything, gives you numb wrists, gives you a pain in the back of your neck and makes the deltoids very sore. So basically your upper body is doing the job of the suspension at that point. Yeah. So at this point now, you've seen the back go down, up and stop. The front has to do the same. And it doesn't at all. So at this point we want to try and close our rebound adjuster and see if we can get anything different out of that. No. So what do we do on rebound? So rebound's all the way in. The other part of that, this particular bike, they did a recall on these cartridges. So you might want to check in with your Ducati dealer to see if these were replaced. It's funny, the previous gentleman that set them up mentioned that as well. Yeah, so that's urgent, mm -hmm. like next week. Okay. Because that pogo can put the bike into a tank slapper and throw you off. Yeah. But it's also incredibly physically limiting in terms of you've got a grip. The other part is it will also slow you down substantially because the bike will do things that are unexpected and give you a negative experience out there versus having that fixed. Mm -hmm. well, this particular setup, is it a risk or is it? So we can all ride the biggest pile we've ever ridden and we just do. So we adapt, that's our best and worst quality. So at this point, you're gonna go out and do some discovery. First part is, when you go into the corner, if you are braking while leaning, it does this. If you brake in a straight line, get off and go for the throttle, it won't do it at all. So if you make a riding change in skill output, there's no risk. Mm -hmm. If you can't get out of the habit of braking while leaning, there is risk. Yeah, I try to avoid braking while leaning. So if that's an inherent trait, the risk level's down, because you don't do that, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so now go discover this, see what it feels like. Feel how you're not getting smashed in the back and that it's a lot more comfortable. Discover that, then come back. But remember, if you can get off the gas, that doesn't mean coast into the corner, it means get off the gas and drive the bike through the corner. Now, in that combination in the back, it's hard to do. But that's the only place on the track where you can't drive it through until you get the required skill. Mm -hmm to link everything together and drive it. And that takes time and this is only your second track day. So, ride, come back, make sure your break off point is before you turn in, so be very effective with your downshifting and timing for engine braking as well. And let's see what you come back with. Okay. Okay? All right, you are set to go. Dave, thank you very much. You're welcome. See you later on in the day. No, after your session. Yes. Thank you. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, Dave at DaveMossTuning.com.